and a half after that one. No, he took it. He took it in stride. He was fine. All right, guys, let's hop straight into game number two. Absolutely no fucking downtime today. Let's just go. Up here in the top right-hand side, in the red, it is Reinhard Kuroi. And down here in the left, the Azurg player in the blue, it is Fisherito. Hey, Fisherito. Fisherito. All right, so these guys, I don't know who's playing it, dudes, but someone is playing one geyser to rule them all. That was last week's challenge. A one geyser to rule them all. So players had to play with just a single gas geyser the entire game. And, uh, I mean, either of these players could be doing it. We've got a cannon a rush from one side, Forge on one side, and an early pool on the Zerg side. So I don't know who's going for what right now, but that looks like a cheeky little piece of shit over here. So let's see. <laughs> nice! Yeah, we're going to see cannon rush versus early pool. This is sick. All right, guys. If you want to send in your replays to get them cast next week, then the challenge is going to be fake out. Do anything to fake out your opponent, but especially fake rushes. Send in your replays where you fake a cannon rush. Build a pylon in their base, get them to pull their drones. Guess what? You're doing something else at home. I want you to proxy a DT shrine in vision of an overlord. Never warp in a DT. Do shit that makes lots of logical sense. I want you to make overlord drops and send empty overlords through their mineral lines so their probes are running all over the place trying to dodge your fucking... Um, Dodge your, your, your imagined Baneling drops. And look at this cannon rush. Could, could he be any sneakier, guys? He's just like, I'm going to build it right fucking in your main base. Next to your spawning pool. I mean, the Zerglings are going to kill this easier than easier than apple pie, man. This is, uh, yeah. He's like, mate, are you fucking serious? Can you build a Zergling in a Zerg's uh, fucking cannon in a Zerg's base? You dumbass, man. So these Zerglings are going to start breaking down that pile. We've got another cannon coming down here. That one's actually going to get up, isn't it? Isn't it? He's got an overlord though. Hasn't he seen it? Oh, he's seen the pylon, but he's not paying attention. Pichorito! Getting too focused on one cannon rush. Doesn't notice the other one. This one's almost up, man. Oh, shit. Oh, and he's, he's, he's not going the right way. Look at this fucking choke point. All the zerglings are stuck behind each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> if he just moved there, you would have killed that cannon. Oh, my God. Seriously, guys. People... This is Abathur. It's like, guys... We don't, we don't need good education for Zerglings. The public school education will do its job. It's fine. They don't need to problem solve. Like, why, why would they need to do that? So they, they get ordered to attack the cannon, and they all decide to just stand in a line behind each other, patting each other on the back. Like, oh, I think we're solving this problem pretty well, guys. No, you're fucking moronic. Fucking moronic Zerglings. You guys are really, really, really stupid. So, Fichurito is actually... Oh, two gases. Fucking disqualified. Oh, disgusting. All right. So, Fichurito is going for roaches and a lair. What do you guys think? Are we seeing some one-base roach niders here? Is that, is that what we're going to see? I think we might. Reinhard over here. Reinhard the tryhard. Best insult, by the way, when people are gaming, is you try hard. <laughs> As if, you know, isn't that embarrassing to try hard at things, guys? That's pretty, pretty fucking sad. Um... Pretty pathetic, if you ask me. I'm trying hard at things. <laughs> so Reinhard the Tryhard, yeah, charge. That's what we want to see. Big boy charge on the way for our one gas brother over here. He's in the he's in the post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic wasteland, man. He's like, nah, there's there's no gas left. We've got like very little technology. We need to invest it in fucking Nikes. Alright, we need these sick running shoes so our zealots can just fucking jump into people's faces and stab them open with their little laser blade things. Back at home, cheeky butthole is going... Actually, this is not really a cheeky butthole, it's a regular butthole. Cheeky... Uh, a butthole, aka Nidus Worm, only becomes a cheeky butthole when you cram hell muffins into it and start spewing them out into your opponent's base. But I think this is just going to be a queen roach Nidus, so this is more of a regular butthole. It's, it's not too not too crazy. Back at home, chrono boosting warp gate. We've only got the second and third gateway on the way though. Shit, man. Oh fuck, Rhino doesn't really have that much. Uh... Yeah, he doesn't really have that much uh, production up yet. Oh fuck, this could really surprise him, dude. So Reinhard's in a bit of trubs, man. Big thanks, Keterus, for the two month sub. Says, hey Jared, keep it up. <laughs> Demuchian, Demuchian. Thank you very much for hanging out, my dude. Appreciate the support. Two months in a row. All right, this overlord over here is like on cheeky bugger duty. 
He's like, all right, I've got to spot the butthole. Let's go. Let's put a butthole down. Come on, man. Let's fucking drop it. Drop the butthole. Go. You know you want to, man. Come on. Here we go. Let's fucking put it down, man. He's taken a while. I think he's done that thing where he doesn't hotkey his nidus worm. Yeah, he has. <laughs> so he's gone back home to click on the nidus worm. Now he's scrolling across the map to get back up here. And then he's going to drop it now. No. He's building... Queen and an Evo chain. What are you doing? Where's the... Drop the butthole! Drop the butthole, man! Back at home. What's... what's? Reinhardt's just got nothing, man. Oh, God. Look at this fucking Artosis pylon right here. No! There was even space for a tasteless pylon. He didn't build it. Dude! Oh, God. Oh, God. He's got no units right now. There's like one Zealot and 38 throws versus three Queens, 11 Roaches. Thankfully, Fitcherito decided to take an extra minute to drop the butthole, but, I mean, I don't know. I think Kuroi's pretty fucking dead right now, if I don't say so myself. If this pylon goes down, he is just... I mean, he's got a cannon there. It's a pretty fucking random cannon. I don't really know why it's there, but he's got it. Oh, there we go. Cheeky butthole diarrhea about to emerge amidst a bunch of zergons, roaches, and queens. And Richard is in big trubs. He's pulling some probes. He sent two charge lots in to get immediately massacred. His photon cannon in the back decides to kill this rando drone that runs up here. And uh, Richard Kuroi, casually on 1,600 minerals, and uh, appears to be, dare I say, quite fucked. So it looks like Pichurito here, uh, taking the worst end of the cannon rush early on. But uh, I mean, does does start to break through the main. Uh, Kuro is like, well, I have a force field, and let's build a ton of cannons and shield batteries down here. Fair enough. I mean, that's something. He's uh, he's up against a one base zerg, right? So if he loses the main, it's not the end of the world. And oh shit, yeah. Here we go, Zealot Warpins, Reinhard the Tryhard sending a couple Zealots into the base, and Fitcherito. Oh no, the Roach is just pissed off. They were like, mate, it's not our job to deal with this, not our job to deal with this, not our job to deal with this. They just hop in the Nidus Worm like a bunch of lazy dickheads. Drones fighting Zealots. Oh shit, that one doesn't go too well. Have you ever seen a lightweight fight a heavyweight? That's what we're watching right here. A bunch of kindergarten kids fighting a bunch of UFC fighters. Back at home, the Roaches. He's clicked the Roaches home. Oh fuck me. They came down the ramp, they got force field, they tried to walk out, the zealot trapped them, these cannons just wailing on these roaches, they've taken a crazy amount of damage back at home, the zealots finally, after killing the entire mineral line, decide to fight a spine crawler, not their wisest decision spine crawler does headbutt them to death and, uh, yeah I think, it, it looks like Fichurito may have jumped the gun um, all the roaches have hopped back into the Nidus Worm. They're just hiding in the tunnel. They've left the queens to kill the rest of the main base. And at the same time, Reinhard's like, nah, just gonna casually take a third base, dickhead. Mate, you took all this gas. What are you even doing with it? I've just got zealots, and my zealots are gonna rip your fucking face off. You're gonna kill the last few of these drones here. Roaches are popping out. These zealots are like, nah, fuck you, man. We're just gonna run away. We don't even... Oh, no, we're gonna... We're gonna... Okay, that's... That's not gonna do anything. A lot of Protoss players enjoying slightly damaging spawning pools today. Uh, to be fair, not really anything else he could have done there, but it's fun to make fun of the, uh, the player's decisions anyway. Make out like they're worse than they are and just generally make fun of them. Reinhard's just hanging out over here, warping in a few more zealots at home, but uh, hasn't really uh, re-established his production or his supply, has he? He's got 2,000 minerals. Is he going to fight probes versus roaches? No, he realises that's not the right call. He says, all right, let's just back off. We'll use these force fields for now, but oh, fuck me. Fitcherito knows he's all in, man. He's like, well, I've got I've got five drones I've managed to rebuild. I've got next to no economy. Um, I'm going to bring one as a cheerleader drone. We've got a cheerleader drone in the back. I'm going to make a ton of ravages, and I am going to fucking destroy you. Nice force field there. And oh, God, corrosive bottom <laughs> takes out a zealot. <laughs> oh, man, ravages on the high ground. They can start hitting these probes, draining the shield battery energy, starting to damage the cannon as well. Uh, they're going to rain down their fire from above. One Zealot comes forward, thinks he's a real warrior. Does actually almost get the Ravager by providing that high ground vision. And, uh, oh my god, these probes being pulled off the line. Going to go take that third base. Reinhard, the tryhard here, is under siege. But this Ravager's actually taking a lot of damage. Two of those Ravagers deep in the red. And once again, oh my god, the bane of Fitcherito. A couple of juiced up UFC fighters let loose in the kindergarten. They're so high on drugs, they can't even tell. They're not even fighting worthy opponents. They're just chopping small children's faces off with their bare hands. Back here on this side of the map. Oh my god, look at this corrosive bile. Corrosive. He's trying to corrosive bile the hallucinated... You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> Just flying the hallucination 
over the ravages. The Zerg's brain has broken. He's like, don't fucking look at me. Drops the corrosive bile, kills a couple of his own fucking units. Keeps trying to do it. Back at home, Zealot's still causing absolute chaos here. Picharito's like, I'm just gonna fucking leave this one. Because <laughs> that's unfair. <laughs> Man, if he... Oh my god, if he moved down this ramp, like it... As soon as he nighted, if he nighted earlier as well, oh my god, he would have he would have won that game so easy. You know what I love though? I love that moment. I want to I want to go back and do an instant replay really quick, guys. Um, not as instant as I wish it could be. The production here is kind of low, but uh, you know, this is it. This is the moment. This was like the the sickest moment where the zealots warped in, right? And let's watch this from Fitcherito's camera. So Fitcherito's just doing his thing. We're here on normal speed in the replay, and he's like, oh fuck, my work is under attack. So he's like, oh, let's just A move see these drones, I guess. All right, well, yeah, why not? All right, uh, I guess they'll fight. And then he clicks like, his whole army and he's clicked it back here. He's not watching at all. He's just staring at this fight. We're on his camera, guys. He's like, oh man, these drones, they don't do too well versus these zealots, do they? Half the drones weren't even attacking. He looks back and goes, oh, shit. <laughs> so, let's watch it again. So he, he just clicks them home. He doesn't even, he just has that like muscle memory of, oh shit, get home to defend. And these guys just get blocked in hardcore. Loses like three or four roaches to these cannons before he realizes what's going on. Oh man, that's fucking beautiful. That's just, that's great, that is. Yeah, loses like four or five roaches. Takes a ton of damage. And, uh, <laughs> and these roaches rallying across the map, they also get killed. Oh, that was beautiful. And uh, at the end of that, it was 37 probes versus two. So, uh, yeah, Reinhardt the tryhard pulls it through in the end. Manages to take that one out. GG, well played. That was fantastic. Um, <laughs> that's a great game. Have we got Have we got any of the players in chat so far, guys? Have we had Scarab in chat or uh, or uh, Reinhard Kuroi? Kurok Tsukami, was that you? Are you Reinhard? Oh, shit. I just opened the same replay again. Whoops. High level replay? Hells yeah, man. That's the whole point of IC Fire. Like, even when we get... We've had a few GM games in the last few weeks with Fighting Frog, a, a GM random player just trolling the crap out of, like, top masters and, and low GM players. Sometimes even mid-GM players. Like, he beat Hero Marine with a mothership rush. Like, come on, the guy's a madman. But it's still, like, everyone in chat is always like, these guys are so shit. It's like, no, actually, trust me, guys. When you encounter the fucking weird-ass builds... You see here in these these replays, like you also will shit the bed really badly. Like you're watching here and from the comfort of your home, and you're like, oh man, he should just do do that. He should, I should clearly just fucking counterattack there. And you're in the game, and that's that's the difference, right? You're sitting there at your computer, you're like, well, normally the Pyrotos tries to make immortals and storm, and then there's a fucking cannon in your main base. You're like, oh, this is easy to defend. And then, wait, there's a cannon in your natural. And all your zerglings decide to fing single file, try to go between some minerals to clean up. And you're like, the fuck do I do? And then you try to do your one base nidus. And then you're fucking, there's a warp prism killing your drones. You're shitting the bed. There's diarrhea everywhere. You're trying to roll the sheets up to cover up the shit in the bed. It's not working. You're getting shit over your hands. And generally, everything looks like shit. So, <laughs> I can guarantee you, we would all fuck up just as hard in these situations. Uh, let's go into map number three, our final game for today's I Cast Your Freaking Awesome Replays, guys. Here we go. Spawning up here on the top left-hand side in the red. It is Mineral Thief. 